because this right here is a species of turtle that I've never actually held before. Well, I've held the species, but I never held this morph. Uh-oh, look at that. These guys are dope. Oh yeah, you can see the difference of these guys. These eyes are just insane. What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another beautiful video here at Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. Today, we have an epic unboxing video for you guys. And this is a video that you guys can actually get some of these animals that are inside this box as well. So a lot of people in the comments been asking me about aquatic turtles. I do not breed aquatic turtles here on the ranch. I have just like one or two pair and a couple wood turtles that would be semi-aquatic, so half uh, water, half land. But inside of this box right here, everything is aquatic turtles. There's just about 50 turtles inside of this box i think maybe around 18 different species and um yeah they're going to be available on the website blakesexoticanimalranch.com so you're going to be able to get some of these turtles if you would like but again i'm going to have all the research um some of the main facts and enclosure ideas on my website but then if you want to get more depth into it definitely research uh, your information online and figure out the right needs for these animals before you go out and get a hesitate trying to buy these animals but enough of that crazy talking right now. Well, not crazy talking, but true facts. Let's uh unbox this box right here. Uh, there's actually a couple turtles in here that I kept from that are gonna be kept for myself for uh, future projects because they are pretty cool and I was able to get them for the right price. So why not keep them here on the ranch and then maybe put them in the aviary build down the road? But uh, let's go to the back of the uh, let's what's it called back of the building where we will unbox these guys we'll put them in the setups that we will have them at we'll make sure they're eating nice and well and all of that they came from a really really good buddy of mine that produces these animals he just had there's a squeak again it's back um he just had a crap ton of turtles this season which was a plus for him so he hit me up he told me the prices and i could definitely rely on his turtles 100 percent so I can rely on selling them to you guys if you guys would be interested in them. So I'm not going to go to somebody, just some nonchalant guy that's like, oh, I got turtles for sale. I'll sell them to you. No, I make sure. I know this. I've actually known this guy for over seven to eight years now. I've bought in turtles for my own collection from him. So he is a reliable guy. And they'll be in my hands for a couple weeks too before they're on the website and all of that cool stuff. But uh, again, nice boxer. Actually, let's name a couple turtles that we have here on the list. So it says Lime, Harful, Reptiles. We have pink belly side neck turtles we got 10 of those guys we have um these turtles are for me i'm gonna wait for those for the last we have uh five albino red ear sliders they're probably beautiful little guys we have some snow red ear sliders these are something i've never even held before so that's gonna be really dope uh northern red belly cooter a uh, really cool cool uh species of turtle from obviously north america and they have some nice bright shells i'm gonna have pictures on the website of these guys and all that cool stuff uh what else do we have that's it. The rest of it's not for me. We'll show you what we, that, what's in here. These are actually going to a buddy of mine. Uh, he's going to have them. I'm not sure what he's going to do with them. But uh, yeah, let me get to the back of the building and let's get this video going. And so like that, we're in the back of the building. I'm going to grab myself a little water container right here. I'm going to place it on the floor. I'm going to get the hose, add some water inside of there. So let me get, add all the turtles in there, uh, rinse them down, uh, let them poop and pee, whatever they have to do, and then put them inside of their enclosures let me turn this hose uh in the closures where they'll be placed over there on the rack system that i have for easy cleaning uh easy um what's that called quarantine area they'll be divided up in different species uh and also i'll be able to really look them over to make sure that they're healthy and good to get shipped to you guys with no issues i don't know if you guys remember the little pond that we made for two abana radio sliders that we actually kept here on the ranch that we got there doing actually really well they're actually putting some size onto them look at those little guys real cute little beautiful little turtles those will go into the aviary pond down the road um so yeah i got a pair of scissors right here and again it's just me that's doing this so mind the shaking and all of that stuff because uh, i'm just holding it and i'm right behind the camera so let me just uh open this up uh again this is a complete unboxing video you see the tape is all there all right, so we have the quantity list right here for exactly what we have for our receipt. 
and let's open this bad boy up. You guys ready for this? Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and have been liking this video. There goes nothing. Uh oh. Look at that. These guys are dope. All right, so we're going to keep best for last for myself because let me not show you guys, but these turtles right here, these are going to be mine. Uh, I'll probably place all these guys inside of my little grow out pond that's going to be placed right there. They get massive. I can't wait for those. All right, these aren't mine, so I'm going to put those to the side. So what aren't mine and what I'm not keeping, these are for a buddy of mine. He asked for them. These are white lip, striped mud, and stink pot turtles, so all different species of musk turtles. All right here. Oh, not showing you those yet. What do we have here? Giant musk turtles. Really, really cool species. Um, I don't keep them here on the ranch. But um, they're going to my buddy as well, which is fine. I weren't really interested in them. Northern red bellies. Heck yeah. So actually, let's open up the northern red bellies. Let's see what they look like. See how bright they really are. Oh my God, these guys are so cute. Fresh little, gorgeous little hatchlings. I mean, wow. Look at that guy. He is adorable. Nice, bright red bellies. They get brighter and brighter as they go. So there's 10 of them in this box right here. So I'm going to place them inside the water. Look at them all. Oh my goodness. Check them all out. All right. It's two. It's three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. So these are awesome little species of turtles to keep in an aquarium and all of those cool things. Uh, they definitely, you don't want to keep them in an aquarium their whole life because they are going to get just about the size of this container. So that's almost 12 to 15 inches, especially the females. They're going to get really, really large. So you definitely need to think in the future of putting them in some sort of pond or really, really large stock tank or something of that sort. So these are definitely not for everybody, but they are a really cool species of turtle and they're really, really personable. So that's one of the species why I picked for you guys so they'll be on the website for you all. And they're real bright, so another reason why as well all right albino radio sliders five of them inside of here oh lord these guys are small but i'll tell you one thing i'll tell you one thing they are adorable oh my god i've never seen them so small before check these guys out holy moly these guys are so cute albino radio sliders little hatchlings those are freaking bird eating size so these are perfect for a small, small little aquarium. I mean, literally, you could raise these small little guys up in an aquarium this big and tank this big. You change it out probably twice a week. Make sure you don't have uh, city water. If you have city water, you definitely want to probably put some type of a chemical in there to get the chlorine out and all that stuff so that the turtles don't get sick and everything. You can find all that on your local pet store without a doubt to purify the water. But look at that. Four little albino red ears. And let me grab one more and we got five imagine that right there just popping out of the ground a bunch of little albinos they are cute all right so we got those five out there's 10 in there actually now there's 15 turtles in there so uh, we got another uh oh here goes something this right here let me let me turn the camera on this one we're gonna get a reaction on this because this right here is a species of turtle that I've never actually held before. Well, I've held the species, but I never held this morph. And this morph is called the, th um, not the three snow. There's three of them in here. The snow red ear slider. Um, I'm actually probably gonna keep these for myself. Uh, I've never actually kept them before. And yeah, I don't know. I, I might wanna keep them. So the difference with the snows, if I'm not mistaken, and for the morph people that are probably watching this, if I'm not mistaken, the albinos, you can see the lines in their eyes and you can see the stripes on them. These guys are completely yellow, all pale white with bright, crazy red eyes, if I'm not mistaken. So let me check this out. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah. You can see the difference of these guys. These eyes are just insane. Check this out. Look at that. Oh, my God. Do you see that eye? That is crazy. All right, check that out. See that eye right there? Look at how bright they are. That is an amazing little species of turtle, just glowing. No stripe on their face. I'm shaking a little bit. No stripe. I'm shaking because, like, that is dope. That is really cool. So completely bright, red, cherry red eye. No stripe on the side. Ready to go. Active as heck. Now check out a normal red ear slider. Hold on. Let it focus. There you go. See the stripe on the side? And you can see his eye a little bit better. You can actually see like a pupil in this one. And the albino and has that little red ear slider slide. So the snows don't have that at all. 
the albinos do the albino normals do so the snows are just definitely a pop and a half and i mean they are crazy looking so i'm going to keep all the albinos together with the uh the snows definitely not going to mistake those because i'm going to hold back all the snows for myself because they are just crazy looking and then there's actually one more turtle inside of here and this is called a hybino and this is another type of morph it's almost like a red ear it has these pink legs green eyes with a little bit of red in it it's almost like a like a car caramel uh, red ear slider, pretty dope little guy, glowing red eyes, I mean, really, really cool. And this one is actually going to a buddies of mine as well, but a gorgeous little dude. So nice little group of morph red ear sliders in there. Um, heck yeah. I mean, look at that tub right there. That is so cool, so cool. All right, we got another group of Northern Red Bellies. Oh my God, I forgot about the best of the best. We forgot about the best of the best that are coming soon. Get ready for this. So this is another group of 10 Northerns right here. I mean, look at them all coming out. Look how cute they look. Look at them all. So cool little guys. And these guys will definitely be a, a real affordable turtle. But again, make sure you guys research them because they do get large. And you don't want to keep them in a tank their whole entire life. They will not do good at all. They need to be in something very large once they grow up. A real big pond of some sort. Uh, I'm pretty sure, don't mark my words, I'm not going to say this is a fact or not, but I'm pretty sure they can hold up with temps of real cool water. I'm pretty sure they come up, they can go all the way up to the states of New Jersey and New York. So obviously, they can have that real cool water with no problem and uh, probably even freeze the water. So cool koi pond and all that stuff. These guys will turn out to be more... Um, I'm pretty sure they're more omnivores right now, so they're going to eat a little bit of worms. Anything small they could take power and overdo. But once they get bigger, they're more just like vegetarians, lettuce eaters. And then obviously you give them their pellet food and they'll be good with that as well. But that is pretty dope. And we got one little one left. All right. That is a box of turtles right there. Now that is cool. That is cool. It's a lot of turtles right there. A lot of turtles. But last but not least, what we have right here are pink belly side neck turtles. These last time I had on my website sold out so, so quickly. They don't get that big. They're very, very personable. They're so bright in colors, the pink bellies. And there's something that are really, really neat. So let's open these bad boys up. Check them all out. There are 10 inside of here. And uh, they are small again, but they are awesome little guys. I'm going to wait until they start eating a little better and everything nice and well. They're just about quarter size, but I mean, wow. Look at that. That is so cool. And there's a bunch of them in here. There's 10 of them in here. Real small little dudes. But we're going to keep them all to the side. There's three right there. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And... 10 that is a box of turtles right there there's a lot of turtles inside of this tub right now which is pretty dope cool 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 and cool it's bright colors are definitely bright in there all right so i am going to set them up inside of some containers right now divide them up in uh the morphs will go with the morphs the all the red bellies will go with the red bellies and then the side necks will just stay with the side necks so let me situate it all over there, and then I'll get back to you guys. All right, so we placed all of these musk turtles inside of here. These guys are absolutely really freaking small. Three-stripe musk turtles. I mean, smaller than my thumb. They are so small. These aren't going to be staying in the ranch. These are for a buddy of mine. Uh, I'm pretty sure this species here are the stink pots. I mean, the size of my index finger. So small. You would never see that thing in the swamp. It would be really, really hard to find one of those. And then, what is the other species? Let me see what the other species is. Alright, so we have, we had white lip in here, three stripe mud, and stink pot. White lip, white lip are the, actually these right here. They actually have a nice little white lip on them. But real smaller guys, these are going to be for a buddy of mine, so those won't be available on the website. But the turtles that I'm actually keeping here on the ranch are Burneo. Uh, painted turpin river turtles these guys get real large i'm gonna have my sister right now put on the screen on what an adult male looks like i mean they're absolutely crazy painted colors during breeding season the females stay with this color right here this like cream little brown color but these are staying here on the ranch they get really large they get about almost 
22 inches or so, probably around 12 pounds, real big river turtles out from, uh, I think like Indonesia area in the rivers out there, real cool species. So hopefully one day they'll be able to join the aviary enclosure and be real pretty turtles. We got four of them, so hopefully it's a nice group of them. Not sure, but moving on, we got some Missouri aquatic turtle pellets over here. And I'm gonna show you where I set up all these guys so they, all the turtles are already going crazy. They know they can smell the food. So right here we put the pink belly uh, side neck turtles and the albinos all together. Some of these will be available. So make sure you're checking the website um, if you're interested in these guys. All right. And before they even go on the website, they're going to be well started. They're all going to be eating. I'm going to make sure they're all eating before you guys get them. They're nice, healthy, good little hatchlings. Over here we have the northern uh, turtles right here. Northern red bellies, there you go. That's the species I was waiting for it to remember. And I'm giving them a little bit of pellet right now. I'll give them some greens later on today. They're doing well, they're doing amazing. Uh, if you didn't know, we actually have Central American wood turtles that are available as well. Those are real, real cool. Giant wood turtles get massive, but real cool species of turtle. And that is it. Yep, that is it of all the turtles. And these are just, uh, uh, Put it down in the uh, comments, what are these? I forgot the name of them. But these are not mine. Giant Must Turtles, that's the name. That is the name, but these are not mine. These are not staying here on the ranch. But other than that, other, other than that, where are we? There we are. Other than that, those are all the turtles that are available on the website. They are actually really, really cool. I hope you guys enjoyed that unboxing video of all the turtles that we got here on the ranch and again it was a cool video for myself because i'm able to keep some of these turtles because i wanted some species of turtles i want to keep on the the ranch and then there's going to be some as well that can be available for you all as well make sure you guys like this video subscribe to the channel and uh be ready for the next video we are very 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 close on getting many projects done the time has come and uh, i know i've sent it many times but it is now the time and uh i will see you guys all later peace out everyone